Prayer a Day for Advent The Third Week of Advent, Monday Prayer Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in us the fire of your love. Follow me as I pray this prayer. Let us open our hearts and feel the presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, Master of both the light and the darkness, Send your Holy Spirit upon our preparations for Christmas. We, who have so much to do, and seek quiet spaces to hear your voice each day, we, who are anxious over many things, look forward to your coming among us. We, who are blessed in so many ways, long for the complete joy of your kingdom. We, whose hearts are heavy, seek the joy of your presence. We are your people, walking in darkness, yet seeking the light. To you we say, Come, Lord Jesus. Amen. Dear God, all over the world now, the children of Holy Mother Church are singing, Send down dew from above, you heavens, and let the skies pour down upon us the rain we long for, Him, the Just One. May he, the Savior, spring from the closed womb of the earth. We know, Lord, and we have seen what drought does to the land. We know, too, and have seen the ravages of frost and cold. We have walked in the barren fields and up dry hills, through dead, silent woods and lifeless valleys, and across thirsty beds of once flowing streams. We have seen clearly enacted for us upon the land what our life would be without you. We can understand now how we should long for your coming. Come, dear Lord and Savior, and do not delay. Rise up in your power and come. Let the rain of your grace water the parched soil of our souls. Let the warmth of your love thaw the coldness of our indifference. Let the life of your body and blood vitalize our deadened energies and stir us up to fruitful labor in your vineyard. All-powerful God, increase our strength of will for doing good that Christ may find an eager welcome at his coming and call us to his side in the kingdom of heaven where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God of wisdom, I want to praise you and give you my life. Like a loving parent, you bless me. You have watched over me, knowing my history and the path that led me to you. Thank you for the peace you promise, peace in my life. I ask that I be always aware of the strength of your great power. May it never leave me. So many people before me, in so many generations, have served you so humbly, answering your call. Please give me the wisdom and courage to be your humble servant. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Father, in the wilderness of the Jordan, you sent a messenger to prepare people's hearts for the coming of your Son. 
Help me to hear his words and repent of my sins, so that I may clearly see the way to walk, the truth to speak, and the life to live for him, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh God, who gladdens us by the annual expectation of our redemption, grant that we, who now receive with joy your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, may behold him without fear when he comes as our judge, even the same Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to prepare the ways of your only begotten Son, that we may attain to serve you with purified minds through his advent, who with you lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, world without end. Amen. Raise in me, too, sober reverence for the God who acted there, hearty gratitude for the life begun there, and spirited resolution to serve the Father and Son. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, whose advent I hail. Amen. Father in heaven, our hearts desire the warmth of your love, and our minds are searching for the light of your word. Increase our longing for Christ our Savior, and give us the strength to grow in love, that the dawn of his coming may find us rejoicing in his presence, and welcoming the light of his truth. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. God of comfort, these times seem so uncertain, so scary. The world seems darker than it has in the past, and I am less sure of myself. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe now I'm turning to you with a realization that I need you so much more, and that my life is not in my own control. Let me not forget all of those around the world who are frightened at this moment. Help those who are victims of pandemic, terrorism and war. Be with those who have lost so much in the past year. Hold us all in your loving arms and let us be comforted by the strength and peace you want so much to offer us through the birth of your Son, Jesus. Thank you for the many gifts you offer us. Amen. May the Lord bless us protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.